Hey guys! In this video, I will show you how to make Sedamon inspired hand warmers. They are super cute and are perfect as a gift. To create Luna or Artemis hand warmers, you will need two pieces of black or white cotton fabric, yellow colored embroidery floss for the moon, and for the hand sewing part, you can use white or black thread. For this video, I chose blue. And also needle and rice for the stuffing. Start off by cutting out a template for the cat's head and the moon. I have mine linked below. Then trace it onto the white or black fabric. After that, place the two fabric pieces on top of each other and cut it around the guideline leaving out about 1cm next to it. Draw the moon on top as well and then put the second piece of sheet away. Now you want to take the yellow embroidery floss and make a knot at the end of the thread. Once you have that, pull the thread through the back side and start another stitch right next to the thread you just pulled out by using the guideline. Follow the line using one straight stitch back and forth. The stitches should get wider and wider so you create the moon shape in the end. This is not exactly the right way to do this embroidery technique, but I think for this small symbol it was okay. When I reached a curve, I kept stitching through one hole in the inner curve while moving along the guideline on the outer curve. Keep following the guideline until you reach the outer side of the moon. Keep in mind that now the stitches should get smaller and smaller each time. If you notice some uneven spaces, you can repeat the back and forth stitching to create the size and shape you need. But if you want to make it the proper way, you can look into the satin stitching technique to make it super neat. But I think this way the moon looks cute as well. Make a knot on the back side and place the fabric with the moon facing towards your desk on top of the second piece of fabric. Be sure to line up the edges so they are on top of each other. Now you can trace a sewing guideline on top using the template. And then I use a simple running technique to sew the two pieces together. Be sure to make the stitches close enough so the rice won't fall out later. And also leave a small hole where we can turn the fabric the right side out. Then cut the fabric at the corners of the ears to get clean edges later. And then turn the fabric the right side out. Be sure to pull at the corners and edges to remove fabric that might be stuck. To add the rice, I created a funnel by rolling some paper into a cone, but you can use a spoon or something else as well. This is just easier. Add as much rice as you want. The more you add, the harder and heavier the hand warmers will get. And then we just need to close the hole. For this step, fold the edges together and start sewing in the fold of the hem. Pull through the fold and then go right back into the fold of the hem that is on the other side. And then repeat the step. Pull your needle out of the top of the fold and then go back into the fold of the hem that is on the other side. This way the thread stays hidden as you make your seam. Make a knot close to your fabric and you are done. Now you just need to microwave it for a minute or two and the hand warmer is ready to go. I think this is a cute gift for Sailor Moon and cat lovers. And since we have our scavenger hunt giveaway going on, this time you can win this mini trio beauty gift set and the movie lip mix. Check out the description box below for more information about this giveaway and how to enter. Have a wonderful day and see you next week.